Hello everyone, Madhu Sudhir Raj. So in Gujarat, the elections are coming in November, and next year, next to next year, we are going to see the assembly elections or Lok Sabha election. In November, the state of Gujarat is going to have uh, its uh, Vidhan Sabha or the state assembly elections. So on what basis people should be voting? That is the subject that I want to discuss today. Why I felt the need of discussing is this because as we all know voters are always confused and irrational but even in that kind of irras irrationality at, at some kind of guidance is needed on what basis to vote. There are many millions of uh, youngsters who are going to vote for the first time. Many people have voted uh, for many years on one or the other issue or for one or the other personality like it happens in India. So I, I thought that if democracy and elections are going to be here with us for some time as long as the nation state survive, it is important for uh, people to have some kind of a guidance about on what basis to vote. So let me just start my discussion uh, by the nature of, with the nature of politics. We all know that the only aim of any politician and political party is to win elections and re-elections. And for politicians, uh, their political parties are more important than anything else because why are those political parties, they remain in power, they capture power and they remain in power and then uh, do whatever they have decided to do inside their hearts and minds. So nation state, it is a folly to think that in the heart of every politician, the betterment of people of which the nation comprises lies. For politicians, winning power and to remain in power is the only goal. So no matter which political party we are going to talk about, all these political parties are working for their self-interest or at the most working for the people, individual people who are benefiting them, who are keeping them in power and who are sustaining them or who are in agreement with them, who are supporting them. Uh, so and that those, you know, that portion of uh, population is not the whole nation. So for a common voter, what should be the issue? So remember one thing, all these uh, political parties like Congress or BJP or Ahmadmi party, uh, these parties are not important. What is important is uh, what ideologies these parties are based on. You should be voting on the basis of the kind of ideologies these parties are following because ideas is what rules the world ultimately. Uh, personalities or their intentions or their uh, persona, or their charisma, or whatever you want to you know, call it, that is not going to run the country, that is not going to make your life better. Because ultimately, the purpose of voting and the purpose of this political institution of democracy or whatever, all these institutions is to fulfill the needs of people, as many needs as possible of all the people, one point whatever four billion people that we have in this country, no one is exempted from that calculation. So choose that political party which is going to fulfill your as many needs as possible. Uh, it doesn't really matter who is doing that or what path is choosing. If if they are not doing it, then it's you're not going to vote for them. Now few of the issues now I don't want to discuss too much into economics because it's difficult but let me tell you that freedom is what is important and so you should be uh, voting for the political party which is going to provide you more freedom to you know, choose your uh, choose in your own way what kind of life you want to live for yourself the party which is going to interfere the government that is going to interfere less and less into the economy and society so I think uh, I'm going to list down some of the issues on basis of which you can vote in this coming elections and all other future elections. One is vote for the party that promises to reduce your taxes overall. 
that means uh, income taxes, direct taxes as well as the indirect taxes. Now in my other uh, interviews uh, I have discussed about uh, launching a no tax political party. Now I don't know when that is going to happen but as long as that is not happening the goal of the voters should be to elect a government that is going to reduce their taxes across the board direct taxes as well as indirect taxes. Uh, they should reduce the indirect taxes by whatever amount you know even if there is 1% decrease in the tax direct or indirect taxes that will be an improvement over the status quo that we have in this country since last 75 years. So any party that is promising to reduce the taxes across the board and that means they are going to reduce their expenditure it should not happen that they reduce taxes on one side and uh, increase the taxes on the other side because they are not reducing their expenditure. Reducing the taxes across the board, nothing goes up. You get more money in your pocket and then you decide how to spend or, spend or save that money and invest it to make your future and present better. So that is one uh, solid issue on which you can vote for, whatever party is promising that. If nobody is promising that, then don't vote because nobody is uh, worthy of your uh, precious vote. Another thing is that which is you know kind of uh, which implies from the first uh, point of no uh, a pol political party that is going to reduce the taxes. The second one is the vote for somebody who is going to reduce the rules and regulations, controls and regulations on the economy and society. The government that promises to abolish as many acts as possible and as many as departments as possible, governmental bureaucratic departments to reduce the rules and regulations that they are imposing on us, vote for such party. If anybody is saying that I'm going to abolish the Department of Education or Department of Environment or Department, whatever the departments are there, uh, vote for them because the less the rules and regulation of the government, the more freedom we have and the more we have the chance of bettering our lives. Uh, government is only a burden on us. So any political party basically that is promising to reduce its, the size of the government, its expenditure and so uh, taxes, they are uh, the right candidate for voting. Now I know that none of the political parties in India are promising this, everybody is promising free this and free that, which is simply increasing our taxes uh, overall. Uh, so voting for anyone is uh, worthless. But anyway, if you are voting, then vote for somebody who is going to do this. And, and, and as the time goes by, you can then uh, adjust if somebody is not following through then you cannot vote for them. Thank you very much.